Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we are heading back into the action. Of course, it is May 1st, or May 2nd actually, sorry. Um, and it should be a little bit different today. There should be the May Day event, so that'll be really cool. If you're curious, then pay us a visit at the resident services to learn all about May Day tickets. Giving them out is just one way Nook Incorporated is trying to give back to the, this wonderful community. How often do you get to travel to a fair far away island for so much needed rest and relaxation? Though I suppose that sort of describes your day to day. Then I'm sure this will be that much more relaxing. Swing by resident services to chat with Mr. Nook soon. Now for additional announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Ooh, I hope our guest is able to see what it is that makes Stripe such a special place. Also, has everyone heard about the new art gallery now open at the museum? It's a wonderful gallery with space for painting, sculptures, and more. The museum's inter Intrepid curator Blathers accept the, accepts art donations all day, every day. But if you'd like to make a donation, please be mindful that there is a fake artwork circulating out there. What? Oh no. As always, use your best judgment. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. All right then, so lots of new things. A new event, um, the art gallery is open in the museum, and we have a campsite visitor, so that should be a lot of fun. I know it's a little late in the day right now, but I'm ready to get started with the day, no matter what time it is. So yeah, let's see what we get here. Looks like we also got some um, stuff we can outdoor air conditioner, um, spring blossoms, uh, Happy Home Academy giving us more stuff. Time to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept this gift. There's nothing like a refreshing bathroom where you can de-stress and refresh. Okay, so I guess they, they're sort of like wanting us to build a bathroom. Maybe we will. Bank of Nook, thank you for your maintaining your Bank of Nook account. We do appreciate your business. You earn interest of three bells. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not very much. Biff, uh, Noodle Arm Zebra, hey, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to keep fit. Uh, your place got bigger? Yeah, I'm not too buff to admit I'm a little jealous. Well, here's something I no longer have room for because of my titanic arms. Maybe you can find a spot for it. Feeling green, Biff. All right then, so it looks like we got a present from Biff and a present from Mom. My dear zebra, the smell of trees and freshly cut grass brings out the adventure in me. Wandering season is upon us. I'm not sure which I like better, wandering or meandering. I'm also fond of rambling, Mom. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And also, nook shopping. Uh, please accept our sincere thanks for continuous patron of Nook Shopping. We'd like to inform you that we have some wonderful new seasonal offerings in stock. Please take a look when you can. That sounds great. All right, then. So we have all sorts of new presents to open up. Yeah, we have three of them. Um, we also have a fence we never learned how to make. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. All righty. So, yeah, there's just, like a lot to do in today's episode. So I'm excited to get to it. Oh, so we got the air conditioner. I'll definitely want to place that somewhere at some point. Same thing with the spring blossoms. Actually, oh, no, that's a... Uh, that's a KK Slider song. Anyways, we've got a present here. This is a long bathtub. Huh. Not super fond of the color, but maybe that's something we can customize. Interesting. Um, on top of that, we also have a a bidet. Oh, really? Yeah, for the bathroom. So we got two bathroom things. Very cool. Um, and then on top of that, we have here Mom's knapsack. Oh, that's pretty cute. Let, let's see. I like that. You know what? We're gonna keep with that for a bit. I think that looks really cool. I wish we could actually put things inside of it, but you can't really. Um, anyways, let's go back home and we'll put some of that stuff away. I definitely wanna do some more home decorating sooner or later, but I really do like how things are going so far. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, here's our new room. Uh, there's some stuff in the way. I'm gonna have to alter some of our room then, because that's sort of covering up the doorway in ways I don't like. But here's our whole new room that we'll want to start decorating. Maybe this will be our kitchen. I think that the other room will still be our kitchen, and this will be something else. But yeah, it's just cool to have some more options. Of course, we'll have to work with Tom Nook to see what the next upgrade will be. Um, but at, and at first, we've got to pay off our loan. So lots of work to do there. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna store everything away, uh, and we will worry about it more later, for sure. Okay, so we're back out and about. There's so much to do, like I said, oh, there's a money tree right here. Not what I wanted. I wanted to go to Nook Miles because we did get something done. And I still think that, do we have Earth Day still going on? Yeah, that ends on May 4th. Uh, craft fencing for beautiful gardens. Uh, maybe we'll keep up with that. I'm not really sure. Oh, and also capture a memory. All that should be pretty easy. But also, good things in store. I'll reward you with Miles based on the number of items you have in storage. Oh, cool, so we're up to 200 in total. We just need uh, to put away 95 more things until we've reached a maximum for that one. Pretty cool indeed. Um, let's shake this money tree a little bit. 
get a couple thousand bells. Oh, I have a lot of bells on my person. I never put those away. So that's probably why I didn't get very much. Oh, is Red here? Hey, buddy. Oh, but I gotta be careful. Apparently you're selling some counterfeit stuff. Not a fan of that, that's for sure. I'd know that shiny face anywhere. How you been, Zebra? You made that the right choice buying that art from me earlier. I've had a lot of folks asking about it. Uh, you know, I really gotta be honest. I think I'm falling for Stripe. I mean, you've got quite a setup going on here and a lot of, of art fans. So Stripe wants art and I got art to sell. Might be something to this. But I couldn't just let it uh, sell to just anybody. I need someone I can trust completely as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins of, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Wanna look for at a few things? I've got art and furniture, plus you'd get my cousin's discount. You in? I'm in. I knew I could count on you, cousin. That is absolutely the right choice. I've got my, my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come have a look at what I'm selling. But <laughs> You won't regret it. All right, if you say so. Oh, are we just being warped there right now? No, okay, he's gonna go. But we'll definitely check that out and keep that in mind at some point, but I'm a little worried that he has, you know, he's gonna steal from us in a way. I mean, he wouldn't be stealing, he'd just sort of be, I guess, like scamming us if he's selling fake stuff. In the meantime, though, we're gonna keep on digging up some fossils, which which reminds me that we have some fossils in storage right now because um, I couldn't get them assessed before because it was closed for innovation. So we definitely wanna check that out. There's gonna be lots to do in today's episode then, um, getting all that figured out. I already see another fossil spot over there, so that's very exciting. I'll have to grab that at some point. Um, but yeah, definitely I just wanna make the most out of today and check out what May Day is about. That might be something I do right away or at least as soon as I get over there. But yeah, May Day seems like a lot of fun. Um, like I really don't know what's gonna go on, but I just know that we gotta go here to talk to everybody. So while we're here, might as well try it out. I'll also talk to Tom Nook about our loan and working towards paying that off over time. Hi. Well, hello there, Zebra. Just like that, your home has another proper room, hmm? That's another upgrade to even to an even cushier lifestyle, which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 548,000 bells, hmm? Ah, yes, please make your payments using the Nook Stops ABD feature as you've done before. One, one other thing I should mention. Now that you've made some big improvements to your home, I can start offering you customization services. This is not about increasing the size of your home, it's about changing the look of your home's exterior. Now, what we can offer does depend on the size of your home, but you'll pay for customization up front so you can prioritize customization over home expansion and vice versa. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. So maybe we'll look into that, but if there's gonna be more options as our house gets bigger, maybe we should just wait until our house is as big as possible. Um, also, can we talk about Mayday stuff? Ooh, -hoo, I'll wager you're here to grab a Mayday ticket, Zebra. I'm handing them out as part of our Mayday celebration. Speaking of which, it's time for a little pop quiz. Do you know what we're celebrating on Mayday? I, I may. <laughs> well, that doesn't surprise me. You're, you are a wise one, Zebra. Yes, yes, May Day is a day when we express our gratitude to those who work hard. Oh, that's sweet. Although I suppose my May Day event is more about play than work. My getaway package idea started as a, a way for folks to escape and enjoy carefree lives on deserted islands. I'm sure you've been enjoying a leisurely island life here as well. I mean, it's been a lot of hard work, but I've enjoyed it. However, I can't help but think about all of the support I've gotten from our wonderful island residents. It can truly be said that a lot of hard work has gone into making this island great. As a thank you, Nook Incorporated has created a special tour for island residents. Yes, yes, I call it the May Day Tour. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the recreational activities I've planned. So take this opportunity to hop on a plane, take a trip, and unwind after all of your hard work. I've left the May Day ticket for you at the airport counter. May 7th is the last day you can use it, so take flight whenever you like before the event ends. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Did you need me to repeat any of that? Nope, I'm good. I'd love to hear your thoughts after you've gone on your trip. Until then, have a good time on your May Day tour, Zebra. So we're definitely gonna do that today, but I really wanna make sure we do everything we can in today's episode. So might be getting to that specific part a little bit later. Orange molded panel wall, I'll take that. And also embroidered pattern skirt and cardboard box. Might as well just build up my collection of those. And we'll see, I know that there's apparently new items here that are seasonal. Um, I don't know if that's in the Nook Mile shop or the Nook Shopping. I think it's probably the, the Nook Shopping. Um, but we'll check out sooner or later. Uh, I think I have both of these fences. Um, yep, I already have this, and I'm almost positive I have the rope fence. Yep, okay, so I don't have to worry about either of these. And everything else, 
is looking good. We, 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 we've seen all this before. So, let's go to Nook Shopping now. Special goods. And is there apparently seasonal stuff? Thank you, Mom Mug. Aw, oh, on Mother's Day. So Mother's Day, of course, is May 10th, I think? It, de it depends, Um, because I think Mother's Day is actually earlier in the year in Europe, but in May 10th in America is Mother's Day. So make sure that you appreciate your mother every day, but especially so on Mother Day. Mother's Day. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what else we got here. We got the garden faucet, which I think we already have, maybe? Um, a pull-up bar stand, interesting. Um, plain cap, sporty shades, eight ball tea, Hollow tea, sweatpants, slip on loafers, and laundering by KK Slider. So let's go ahead and get that one. And I think that's about everything I want to do here then. Um, maybe I could put away some money, but I might wait to do that later. Uh, we also have to check out who's camping today. Like, there's a lot to do. It, it's super exciting. But yeah, really, really enjoying uh, everything going on right now. So definitely we can still run around, try to get more fruit off the fruit trees and make some money off of that. We'll check out what Timmy and Tommy might be selling in today's episode. And like I said, I'm still on the lookout for more and more fossils and if there's any messages in a bottle or maybe some flowers to pick up. But I don't know if this really makes me that much money if I really should worry about picking up all the flower bulbs, at least for right now. I'm not desperate for the cash, you know? We're slowly making it over time. Especially with like the cherry trees and stuff. They uh make us back our cash pretty quickly. So let's grab some of these. I think this is just a normal tree here, though. Like, this was originally a money tree, and it just, like, doesn't seem to make anything anymore. So I might want to dig that one up. Maybe I can eat an orange and just do that real quick and then just bury another cherry tree there. Might be my best bet. So, getting over this way. I'll just eat an orange real quick. Eat one. Very good. And then just real fast. Whoop. <laughs> Perfect. And then where are the cherries? Plant one. There we go. So that'll turn into plenty more cherries in the future. Oh, and I get a little Nook Miles for that. Was that for planting a tree? I guess so, I didn't even realize that was one of them. So that's 200 miles for us right there. And we'll definitely be talking to more villagers today. But I think for right now, I know I don't have a ton of stuff, but I'm going to go and see what Timmy and Tommy might have in store for us uh, before I move too far away from this area. I just think it might be good because we're already here. And I have a couple of things I can sell. I can clear out my inventory a little bit. So yeah. But hopefully they have some cool stuff for us. Hi guys, they have a football and a basketball. Uh, I don't think I need either of these, but football. 400 bells, pretty cheap, but I'll pass. And they just called a ball. It's not even a basketball. Interesting. But I'll take a pass on that as well. Uh, over this way, seems like you're interested in the fishing boat flag. Huh. Interesting. I like the design, but I don't think I need something like that. And then we got like a little laundry rack. Yeah, we've seen this um, in the nook shopping, so I don't think we'll need it here. And then finally, as you can see right here, oh, this is so cute. It's a little model train. Train set. 7,900 bells. I love it, but I just, I don't really see where I would put th something like that, but it is really cute. I always love little train sets. Okay, so we'll just check out what's happening here. It looks like there's really not too much I want to buy today then. Um, nothing too major here, but over this way, anything that really speaks out to me. Uh, I guess not. I guess I'll just leave it like that. Alrighty then. I'll let you guys know if I need anything or if I change my mind on that train set. <laughs> you never know. Oh, I never sold my stuff. Okay, well, it's fine. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to sell more things for sure. But for right now, what else is going on? I, I never really got to see, is there any messages in a bottle around here? There might be. There also might not be. Oh, hey, here's Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, how's it going, Alpha? What's the latest? There's nothing like spring on Stripe. I'm just basking in a zebra. Me too. Even though this is the last month of it, next month will be summer. Alpha, what have you gotten yourself into? Let's talk. The new art wing in the museum is finally open, Zebra. This is the perfect opportunity to cement my position as this island's official cultural ambassador. I don't know how much, of, I don't know much about art per se, but I know a lot about pretending to know a lot about art. Well, that's one step closer. They say fake it till you make it. I don't know how true that that really is, but you just have fun, all right? Oh, and here's another fossil spot, so I definitely want to take advantage of that. And then I gotta go back because there was a 
There we go. Awesome. Fossil number two for today. Uh, there was a rock that we can hit. Always want to make the most of that too. Because even if I've gotten like all the iron nuggets I could possibly need, I probably still need to you know do this for my chances of getting gold nuggets. And on top of that, I'm sure it's still earning up some long-term Nook Miles stuff I just haven't really been thinking of. And hey, there we go. Let's talk about a gold nugget. I get one. Awesome. They're really uncommon, so just to be able to get one of them out of a rock is still good. I'm hoping that as we get farther in the game, maybe they'll get more common, because I'm pretty sure they'll be used for more equipment. Oh, here we go. Wow, pretty close together. Got ourselves another one. Oh, and there goes my shovel. I think I already have a replacement now. Let's see. Uh, yep, this is my outdoorsy shovel. Go ahead and try that out. Oh, I have to favorite it. Favorite. Right there, perfect. Okay, I like this one, it looks really cool, so. Don't mind having to switch over to this one. You know, they eventually break. But it definitely seemed to last a bit longer than even the upgraded Iron Nugget Shovel, so I guess this might be like the next step. I'm not really sure, oh, I should have uh, dug little holes. Oh well, it is what it is. Luckily it wasn't a money rock. Yeah, that's all I can do. Maybe we should go into Biff's house and catch up with him. That might be fun. Definitely want to grab some pears first because the pears will give me some decent money. There we go. And there might be another pear tree around here somewhere. I thought there was, but maybe not. Oh, there it is. So we'll grab that in just a moment. Hoping that this rock right here will be the money rock. But once again, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, I see Apple over there. She thought she was in some new clothes, which is pretty cool. So with this one, I will grab an outdoorsy shovel. And then right there. I really wish that the holes would just stay where they were. Here we go, got the money rock. So I was hoping it'd be this one. It looks like it was, so very lucky for us. Let's see if we can't get all of them. One more. Yeah, awesome. So we're gonna have over 60,000 bells right now. I definitely will have to put some of this away um, for long-term storage. So we're still trying to work up to 500,000 bells. <laughs> we have a while to go, but we're, you know, getting closer. So let's see how Biff is doing. You know, he gave us a gift earlier. He gave us a little housewarming gift. Uh, yo, Zebra, I was waiting for you, Squirt. Uh, let's chat. Plants and muscles have got a lot in common, Squirt. Like how both see the biggest gains when they get proper hydration and stick to a good maintenance routine. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Squirt? Do you want this? I'll probably just give him some oranges or something. Uh, no, 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 not the, the whoops! Uh-oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh uh, no, thanks, I, I love not knowing what kind of fossil it is. Suspense is great for the core muscle squirt. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well. You know, I have a couple in my storage anyways. It was probably a repeat, or maybe it was the rarest fossil ever. Who knows? But you know what? If it is, Biff deserves it. He's a great friend, so, honestly. That's okay. Hopefully he does get it assessed, whatever it is. Maybe he can sell it for a pretty penny. Or maybe he'll just be able to know what it is and enjoy that fact. Anyways, we're gonna keep moving. It looks like, of course, there's more to do over this way. There's a little money tree spot right over there. Um, also, is there, uh, here it is, message in a the bottle. There's almost always one every day. Oh, and there's Celia, too. So she's doing some gardening. Even though I'm not as worried about hitting the rocks right now. Maybe I should just leave it be for now. There we go. Also, put this away, shake this tree. That, that orange bounced really far. I guess it just didn't have anywhere else to land. Okay. And then we'll talk to Celia real quick. And that should be one of our Nook Miles Plus done. So that'll be cool. Hi, Celia. Well, hello, feathers. What's the latest? Earlier, I could swear I was smelling my dad's fish tempura, so I have I gave him a call, Feathers. Oh, that's cool, I hope you had a good time talking to him. So there we go. Uh, that is 200 miles right there, pretty nice to have it. We're over 24,000 now. I should take a picture real quick. Um, yep, just like that. Um, just because it's some quick and easy miles, uh, and it makes room for other things, like I could have one for shaking trees or something, you know? So I wanna make sure that it's available. It is catch a tiger beetle. 
I'm sure we'll run into one sooner or later. But hey, we haven't talked to Stu in a little while. I love his hoodie or sweater or whatever it is, like little strawberries. I know you've been on this island somewhere, Zebra, but I couldn't find you. I even stood outside your house for a whole day except for when I had to go to the bathroom. I didn't think you'd want me doing that in front of your house. <laughs> My bug friend said I'd find you, and they were right. Let's hang out later, Moo. Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't seen him too often recently. Just missing each other. Sort of feel bad about that, but at the same time, you know, life's busy, we just both got our own things going on. That should be, you know, respected. Oh, there's a uh, little present flying in over here. I was looking for fossils, but good to get this as well. Oh, I might have to back it up a little bit. Now let's try that. Ooh, perfect. So this should be money, I think. It's a bamboo shoot lamp. Huh, all right, sure. I'll take it. And then what else is going on down this way? Not too much. So let's head back down here now and see what else we can do. I'm not really sure if there's too much more. I know that there's a fossil spot and a couple more orange trees, but now I think we found mostly the good stuff. Here's that here's apple. Saying trendy cheekers? Let's talk. Did you know that the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around the striped shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Hamster. <laughs> All right, Moon Hamster. Good luck with that. So I guess maybe she's like in some exercise clothes. I'm not really sure why they changed, but uh, that might be why. Anyways, we'll dig up this money and of course, turn that into a money tree. Uh, just bury that back up. Perfect. And get a couple more oranges I see around. And when we're on the other part of the island, we can also check out who the, uh, villager might be that was uh that was camping. Yeah, we can also talk to Gigi a bit because she should be moved in by now too. So lots of cool stuff. I totally forgot about that. Uh whoa, whoa, that's a new bug. I haven't seen this little water guy. Oh oh he's over here. Got him. That's so fascinating. Yes! I caught a pond skater. Wonder if it can do pond a pond Ollie. <laughs> oh I get it, like a skateboarder. So let's get across like this. Shake these trees up a little bit. I'll definitely have to uh, sell some oranges soon because I am running out of inventory space. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I don't have any uh, extra housing space for whoever is visiting, so I won't be able to allow them to move in, unfortunately. But, you know, so be it, that happens. Okay, so here's that digging spot I saw before. So I'm going to be one fossil short today, unfortunately. But like I said, we caught a couple of fossils the other day and wasn't able to assess them or donate them. So I guess it, I hope it balances out, who knows? Not really, technically I'm still one short, but oh yeah, and this is where Red's thing is. So we'll go in there soon enough. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but not now. Okay, picking up some of this. So this is the little, uh camping area. Let's see who's here. Hopefully somebody cool. Whoa, you're tall. Hi. His name is Chow. Hiya, oh, yeah. I'm just here to do some camping for a spell. This sure is a nice island. You live here, right? If you have any recommendations for me while I'm here, let me know, huh? Oh, yeah? He has the same shirt as Biff, too. We always get these big strong types with Stu, Biff, and now this guy. Joey's pretty much all I make when I go camping. It's tough to roast it on a stick, though, are ya? I had a dream last night. I moved to this island and you you and I were just hanging out just like this. It was so real. What do you think it means, are ya? You're moving here? It means you can fly. I mean, I guess we can invite him to move here. The thing is, we don't have any place to keep him right now, so I don't know if that'd be a good thing to do. Fly? But it wasn't a flying dream. You know what? This album seems weird all of a sudden. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry. Um, I just, I'm worried that if I told him to move in, that it would like maybe force one of my other villagers to move out or something, I don't know. So I don't wanna risk that. He seems great, don't get me wrong, but there's only so much room in my island right now. Um, so let's go say hi to Gigi. But yeah, he was a very interesting character. Uh, but yeah, let's see what's going on here. Oh wow, very, very interesting aesthetic. I like the dark, like bathtub and the kitchen, kitchen stuff. Uh, Ribet, what is it? You're watching me so intently, it is a bit unnerving. What you doing? Well, you see, I am working on a wooden end table. It's a DIY crafting project, my dear. 
I was daydreaming, you see, and the design came to me. Then, just like that, I made it happen. I know, I know. Why don't you try making a wooden end table too? It's really quite exciting, and I'd be more than happy to teach you how. I know all the tricks, Rebet. Please teach me. That's the spirit, good for you. I've written down the recipe, so do please take it with you. Well, thank you so much. Just get to know each other, and you're already teaching me so many wonderful things. It's a simple project, Rebet. You'll be able to whip it up in no time as long as you have the materials. Okay then, so do we know this one? What an end table. I guess we don't, so that's something new for us. Very exciting. So if there's one last thing I wanna do before we uh, sort of start moving forward with my day. Um, Cause you know, I, I, I could just pick up every single orange. I feel like it gets a little bit tedious after a while. What I wanna do is just get the rest of the fossils that might be around and then get the fossils I have in my inventory or in my, my storage, get those assessed, sell whatever I currently have in my inventory, um, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully it goes well. Cause we only have a couple more spots left over. Hmm. See, I'm just gonna storm around a little bit and then we'll go see Red, we'll go to the May Day tour. I'm so excited to see what that's about. There's nothing around here, that's fine. And what about over this way? Nothing really, so I will get up here real quick. Cause I think we found four fossils and then we had to get rid of one accidentally. I uh, gave it to Beth, but hey, hopefully he's enjoying it. Okay, so there's none up here. So that really might be it, because usually it's like between four and six of them. But there might be one more waiting for us. That's what I'm hoping for, is that there'll be one more around. Aha, okay, ask and you shall receive, I suppose. There we go. But we'll keep looking, there might still be one more hanging out. Sometimes they can spawn in pretty close to each other. Aha, see what I said? There we go. Okay, so technically six found today. So let me go back home, I'll organize some stuff, we'll figure everything out. So one thing we can do is open up the message in a bottle, I never actually did this. Yeah, you found it. You know how you how you get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. I put it in this bottle, so check it out. This recipe is for sure a hit. You'll want to use it all the time. Sparkle on Victoria. Okay, Ma manga library wall. That sounds interesting. So like, manga isn't like the type of book? Let's see. Um. I mean, I guess so, it was a library. I wanna see some of the new stuff that we've gotten for sure. So let's sort this by order obtained. All the way up here, whoa, look at this. We need 10 magazines, that looks so cool though. I love it. Wow, so much of it. Um, and that's the wooden end table. And then also bamboo shoot lamp, Latisse fence, hedges, all oh, the hedges look amazing. Um, so we'll definitely try those out at some point. There's so much to make, so much to do, it's amazing. Um, but for right now, I am looking to put away some stuff. I need to get rid of the clump of weeds and the orange molded panel wall and all the different clothing stuff. The stuff I don't plan on getting rid of for right now, I just need to put away. So it even looks a little bit different, I think. I think so with the banners and stuff. I don't know if that's how it was before. But either way, we're heading to the museum now. There should be a new upgrade. There should be a lot of new stuff going on. So hi, Blathers, how are you doing? Yeah, up there you can see. Hoo-hoo, if it isn't Zebra. Thanks to you, the art gallery is now complete. Your very own donations made it all possible, Zebra, so to you, I am most grateful. The entrance to the gallery is but a jaunt up the stairs. Please do take a gander at your leisure. I definitely will, but for right now we need fossils assessed, we need to donate some stuff. Might there be something at which I can with which I can ass assist you? Assess fossils. Ooh, what would you like to assess? So I have a bunch. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could have been ten, but you know what? Nine is good too. More than one I see. Okay, so at least one thing here, I'm glad, is not a part of our collection. Um so I'm definitely donating that. I'm also donating the one bug we got off the uh, the water, the, the the water skater or whatever. Uh, the river skater, uh, the pond skater. Only one out of the nine, Triceratorso. Wow, what are the odds? Um, splendid. Uh, so there we go. That is gonna be it for now. I think I'm going to go uh, sell some stuff, then we'll go buy some more paintings or whatever might be available. I do wanna take a good look at it because apparently some of it might be fakes, which I don't like the odds of, but we'll figure it out. So one thing, there was a fossil assessment. We have assessed over 100 fossils, giving us 1,000 miles. Very cool to see that. 
Um, and I think that's about it for right now. So let's go over to Timmy and Tommy. We should be able to make a pretty penny off of eight different uh, fossils, I would imagine. Because even if they're like three or 4,000 each, that's still like, you know, if there were 3,000 each and there's eight of them, that's uh, 24,000, so. I wanna sell. And we also have a bunch of fruit to get rid of as well. Okay, fruit and fossils. That's what I got. 52,000 bells, that's amazing. So that's like one tenth of what we need. Well, maybe a little bit less than that because it was 540,000 bells, right? So like if it was 54,000, it would have been one tenth of what we need for um, for paying off our loan. So like it shows you how much progress we're making in just one day with all that kind of stuff. Uh, very exciting for sure. So yeah, with all of that in mind, I'll go to Red, we'll buy some stuff, we'll go and check out the May Day event. It's a jam-packed episode, there's still plenty to do. Uh, I'm supposed to, yeah, okay, jump across here. And there are still a couple more oranges I could have gotten. I'm just not really too wild about it, I'm just trying to move forward with everything we currently have. So let's go here. Hello, anybody home? I guess so, this place is very tiny. Oh wow, it is dark. Ah, Zebra, I'm so glad you made it. So here's the pitch, ready? At Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, we sell only the finest. And there's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all these fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. It's a hassle, I know, but I hope the cousin's discount will make up for it. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want, no questions asked. So take a look around. We got masterpieces by the great masters, plus stuff for your master bedroom. Let me know if you have any questions. So, can I like take a good look at it? Uh, I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking about m asking me about buying that famous painting there, but maybe the price scared them off, so I'll sell it to you for 4,180 bells. Deal of the spring, you in? I want a closer look at this. Hmm, I don't like the way she's looking at me. <laughs> this is the Mona Lisa, by the way. I feel like I should Google the Mona Lisa. Uh, and that's where this gets sort of fun, right? Is that if you know the picture, um, you can sort of compare and contrast. And I gotta be honest, the original Mona Lisa doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> I don't think this is real. <laughs> so, admiring the detail, can't blame you. It's extremely detailed, brilliant stuff. And the best part, all that detail could be yours for just an easy, I don't know. That's where it gets problematic. I don't know these other ones. Well, actually, I might know this one. Um, this is an academic painting. You can just feel the aura on that academic painting, huh? I mean, you couldn't buy that kind of aura. Well, you could and should. Let me help you out. With my cousin's discount, you can get that for only the same price. Uh, I want a closer look. So with this one, um, I'm not really sure. I feel like this one's wrong too. Doesn't the guy normally have like three sets of arms and legs? I think so, but yeah, it's like an, some kind of academic painting. Um, I don't trust that one. And now these two in the back, I am definitely unfamiliar with. The Jolly painting. I might like wanna like look up Animal Crossing Jolly painting, not to see if I can't you know, confirm if this is real or fake in that way, but if I can just find the original picture, I like doing the comparing and contrasting myself. Okay, so this original painting was called Summer and was painted in 1573. Almost five, like yeah, about 450 years ago, almost 500 years ago, that's crazy. It's a little creepy, but yeah, as you can see, it's like, it's supposed to be like a face made out of different, uh, like fruits and vegetables and stuff. And this one, I can definitely tell the face is a little off. In the original Summer, I'm looking at it right now, it's more of a frown. I mean, it's more of a smile than a frown is here. So that one's not quite right. And also, like, really, a lot of it's not quite right. I wonder if I'm looking at the right one. Um, well, no, all these are identical. So definitely this one's not quite it. Um, and then finally, we have this one over here. Let's see what's going on with this one. So you think you want the graceful painting, huh? Believe it or not, that's actually my favorite piece in here. I really don't want to sell it, but it's it's you. Okay, so on top of the cut, is, is it gonna be the same price? Yeah, so luckily they're all the same price. So I'm gonna go and try to find out, what was this one called? The Graceful Painting, I think? Uh, let's see if I can't find out uh, exactly what painting this is. Okay, 
So, this one I can already see. This one was um, called Hishikawa's Moron Moronobu. And I don't really know too much about it, but if we look on the Wikipedia, I love art, so I just like looking into this. I'm sorry if this bores you. This was done in 1694. It's a Japanese painting. Um, but this one I can immediately tell is wrong, because if we if we zoom back in, because I backed out of it accidentally. I want a closer look. She's facing the wrong way. I mean, her body is right, but she's looking to the left in this in this version, but in the original, she's looking to the right. So every single one of them is a little bit off. Maybe there's no guarantee. Maybe sometimes they're all duds. I might want to double check. Now that I've done my own comparisons, I guess like it could have been this one. What was this one called again? This one's the academic painting. So let me look at the original for that one. But I'm pretty sure that yeah, this one's called the Vitruvian Man. Um, no, I guess I'm wrong. I'm Maybe I've just misinterpreted it. I never really knew the purpose of this image, but uh, very interesting. So this one actually is the correct one. I don't know too much about the Vitruvian Man, so I wanna see what year this one was made in, the original art piece. Uh, it's apparently Italian, interesting. Uh, 1490, much older than I thought. Wow, this might be the oldest one out of the bunch. So this one's real. We got the real Vitruvian right here. You got a deal. Ha, you're not gonna regret this. I'll just take those bells from you. Wow. Yep, it's all there. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of an academic painting. Been a pleasure doing business with you, cousin. I'll get your art packed up and shipped out tomorrow. I really liked that, that was a lot of fun. Hope you guys didn't find it too boring. Let me know, are you interested in art like that? A uh, true patron of the arts, collecting artwork contributes to the cultural quality of Stripe, and Nook Incorporated will give miles to folks who prove themselves discerning connoisseurs. All right then, so for our first painting, we get ourselves 300 miles. We need to get 10 in total, so I'll definitely try to do that each and every day, um, if I can remember. We also have some different furniture. I like how Seiko is like classic furniture, and one of them's a blow-up couch. <laughs> Like the best bluegrass albums, it's impossible to get enough of the inflatable sofa. Tell you what, and this is just because it's my favorite spring weather out there, yours for sixteen fifty. No thank you. Uh, I don't think I'm really too interested. Well, it's your decision. These kind of deals don't come around every day, though. I do like this. The charm and elegance of the very finest lemonade wrapped up into the cartoonist set. Uh, much as I want to charge a full price, I had a real taste of orange earlier, so how about, okay, for that price, it's a deal. I don't know if I'll keep it, but like, I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Um, very nice, I like it. So it looks like that's everything available for right now, but maybe if we buy from him continually, it'll upgrade. You won't regret it. We'll see about that. I, for now until ever, will never really trust anything he ever says. <laughs> now that I know he sells fakes, or he's just trying to con us, but I guess at some points he has the real deal and he never even realizes it. Like, that's weird. Very interesting for sure. We are definitely gonna go and donate that right now. Also, wait, why do I have all this money here? What was that about? My wallet is full. I had over 100,000 in there before, didn't I? Huh. Weird, oh, have we caught this bug? I don't think we have. Is this another new one for our collection? I guess with the month of May came some new bugs! Ah! <laughs> no! Well, I'll have to catch them some other time. For right now, though, donating our second painting to the museum, and then we'll go and check out the gallery. Very cool. Might there be something with which I can assist you? Make a donation. Ooh, thank you very much, my feathers. Why, it seems you don't have anything on your person. Wait, what about? What about my painting? Oh, do I not get it right away? Does it get shipped to me overnight? That might be the case. Uh, weird. Really weird. Um, Because, yeah, it said it sold. Ha, huh, okay, I guess it gets shipped to me overnight. Anyways, then, we'll still check out the, uh, the painting gallery real quick before we go off to May Day. I know, it's been like 40 minutes. I'm sorry for driving you nuts waiting, but there's so much cool things to do in this game. I gotta, I gotta do it all. Alrighty, so going up this way. Oh wow, I like the little, the bust up there. 
Wow, look at this. Some proper fancy stuff going on. So this is the picture we got before. Perfect painting, apples and oranges. Paul Cezanne, Cezanne, circa 1899, oil on canvas. Uh, this still life is known to have inspired the work of many other artists, including Pablo Picasso. Rather than trying to recreate an image, Cezanne captured the beauty of shapes from many angles. With this work, Cezanne draws on both the atmosphere of his subjects and the spirit of his beholders. Isn't that cool? So I would love to just fill everything out and then just have an episode where we read the descriptions. I don't know if anybody else would be interested in that, but maybe one day we can get everything. But yeah, I really can't wait to get that painting um, of the Vitruvian Man. That'll be really cool. So heading down this way, we are going to, um, like I said, go to the Dodo Airlines and check out the May Day event. It's a little late for it, I know, but I don't really know too much about it. Oh, hey, what's up, Apple? Zebra, I heard all about what you're up to, how you're going to make Stripe so famous that KK will come here on tour. If that actually happens, oh my gosh, that will be so, so, so cool, so wild, so gosh, so Tris amazing. You know what? I'm going to help you chase this crazy dream. Hmm, what can we do? I've got it. We, what, what if we like make a powerful spot somewhere on the island? Just a big powerful center of good vibes. This is the fabest of fab ideas, don't you think so? I've got, I've got to have something to help you out I, I've got to have something to help you out with a project like that. What about something like this? I don't know, what is it? That beach chair gives off strong vibes. I bet if you put it somewhere on the island, uh, uh, good energy will flow, KK will show up, and life will be perfect. All right, so we'll definitely actually put that by the palm trees. I just thought that's a perfect spot for it. I'm thinking of relocating the, oh, there's Kyle again. Um, I'm thinking about relocating the the sand castle, because that's not how I wanted to turn that, but okay. Um, put this away. <laughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> I wanna relocate the sand castle because I, I think that would be better down here now that that ship is in the way. Why is this not letting me turn it? It's very picky. There we go, that's all I wanted. So there we go, we got a nice little beach chair by the beach. We'll put the sand castle down here at some point, but for right now, not worrying it too much or about it too much because we gotta go to May Day. Very excited about this. Oh, we've waited a long time now. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies at Stripe Airport. Oh, it's you, good timing. I got a May Day ticket from Tom Nook with zebra written on it, which makes it yours. When you want to use this ticket, you just got to say the magic words, I want to fly, got it. So, Zebra, you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, I got a Mayday ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so take advantage of it. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? Use the Mayday ticket. You're ready to go on the tour with your Mayday ticket? Roger that. This May Day tour is a special trip to a faraway island. It's all organized by Tom Nook. As for what awaits you there, you'll just have to find out when you land. For this tour, you have to go to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all of your belongings here at the counter. Oh, really? Don't worry. We'll be sure to return them when you get back. So, want to stow your luggage and head out on the May Day tour? Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. All right then, so I guess we're going to an unknown island. We don't get to keep any of our stuff. Dodo one, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy, got a walker who needs wings over. Oh, Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need the travel, just think, what would Dodos do? All right then, so we are good to go to our May Day Islands. I don't know what's going on here. So this is, this is gonna be fun. Here we are, and we have touched down. You are at the Mayday Tour destination. Now this tour is different than most. Whole island's a giant maze, whoa. Nothing an aerial view wouldn't help, but that's not why we're here. This is a navigation tour you copy. The point is to find your way through. We've stowed your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start this mission with empty wings on, or hands, or or hooves. Uh, we big shot birds type, type, bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. But your groundbound goslings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you get stuck or grounded or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. 
Our whiskered allies will reset things so you can refill, regroup, and restart the maze. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So, time to get going right about November Oscar Whisker. Good luck and wheels on. All right then, so let's get to it. This is so cool. Uh, can we read the sign? No. So we start with like little tools. It's a shovel. So now I can use the shovel to dig up this hedge. Ah, I get it. And I can get an orange. Ah, oh, this is so interesting. So I can also use the shovel for a couple of other things here, as you can see. Um, I can't quite get across to this though, but if I can find a way, there's some golden tickets over there. So that might be worth keeping in mind. I wonder if I can plant the hedges over these holes. Ah, no, okay. But I can eat this orange, for sure. No, that's not what I meant, whoops. Uh, eat. And with that, I'll be able to dig up this tree. So this is like a very interactive maze, very interesting. Um. So what's going on with this? Can I, yeah, if I run out of hole for long enough, I can jump over it, but only in one direction. Huh. Ah, so I can't get across to there just yet. But I can get over this way. I can get a stick. I haven't seen any crafting tables or anything. Hmm. But definitely I'll need as many materials as I can get, so let's just run around for right now and sort of see what we can grab. Well, there was somebody over there. Yeah, there's somebody, I guess, who's already completed the maze. Interesting. Now, if I go back down this way, right? What do we got? Actually, hold on. This way has, a, I know I'm going back and forth right now. But this way has something for us. What was that? That was an ax. Okay, very nice. Because now, with the ax, I won't need as many oranges, I don't think. What I could do, in theory, oh, you know what I gotta do with that? That's what I'll need oranges for from here on out. So definitely, what I could do with the ax is if we get over like this, I can switch over to the ax. I think I can knock this over. Down it goes. Whoa, wait, it's done already? Oh no, that's the end of the line for my trusty worn ax. Oh darn. But I can do a little bit of that. <laughs> that's a pretty sneaky way to get around, right? Um, Interesting to know though, that's about all I got from it. Hmm. So there's some more money over that way. And we got wood. I just don't know what I'm using that for. Well actually, hold on. Maybe I should eat one of these oranges? That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, eat one. And that's at least an even exchange. And we get some recipes for that? Interesting. What did we get then? Flimsy ax, aha! Wait, okay, well I already know these. Yeah, okay, very interesting. So I can eat another one. And then get over here. Uh, and what do I wanna do with this then? Let's craft. So obviously I'm just looking for the ax and the flimsy ax. I don't think, I don't have an iron nugget right now, but hopefully I can get one. I made a flimsy ax. Uh, all done for now. Because I'll need to get an iron nugget, like I said before. Because I could technically, well I don't have enough oranges just yet to get over there and properly do everything. But I can, I can eat an orange to get an orange. Yeah, I'd still be overall positive with this. So I might as well make that exchange while I can. Okay, this is where things get a bit tricky. No, 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 this is probably not the way I wanna go at it. I'm trying to find my way back around. Gets a little tricky at this point. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's right, maybe? Yeah, so now I should be able to eat another orange. And with that, dig up that rock, grab this, and then make the ax. Very interesting, right? <laughs> There's lots going on here. I'm just trying to make the most of everything. So 
So let's go back around for right now. Hmm. Because with the axe, we could do quite a lot, for sure. So I just need to get back over here and try to craft something. Let's craft. Yep. Okay. Very cool. So our axe has been upgraded. I did not want to keep crafting. There's not really anything more I can do at the moment. So with that, we can get to the end of the maze, but what I'm curious about is, actually, I might want to go back this way. Uh, but what I'm curious about is how I get those golden tickets before. I didn't really see too much of a way to reach past that, the hedges. I think I'm doing this right. I might not be. Yeah, I'm going sort of the wrong way. Well, no, not really. If I go down here and then go across. Yeah, look at this. This is it. Yeah, so let's get the axe out, and I can just knock this over, nice and easy. And this is a full axe, so I should have a lot of uses out of that. Oh, oh, come on, keep going, there you go. So here's another orange for us, which I'll keep this one for now. And this is where things get a little weird. But I can hop across like that. Then hop across again. And then one more time. One, two, and three. Perfect. And there we go, we made it. So we at least get four little tickets over this way, so that'll be cool. Um, there's a shovel. Just take that up real quick. Hmm. Oh, you know what? How many oranges do we have? We have two. I don't know if that's enough to get across, but I think I know what to do now. We'll talk to you in a moment, Mr. Cat. I think that's a cat. Uh, but first, I think I figured out the rest of those little tickets. Maybe. You gotta go around like this. Ah, oh, but I don't have enough oranges. There's no coconuts around here, right? Oh, darn. Yeah, there's not really much I can do about that then, unless I can find an extra orange around. I guess I just didn't do a very good job with that. That's unfortunate. Um. Anyways, let's talk to him for now. Hey, buddy. Rover. Oh, are you the guy that welcomes people in some of the other games? He made it to the goal. Huh? Hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, sorry. I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyway? Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island and I should check it out. But I didn't expect to find a maze. <laughs> what a surprise. So if you know Tom Nook, does that mean that you live on the same island as he does? It sure does. <laughs> Neat. I hear Nook's been putting a ton of work into that place. Me too. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Stripe, right? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know? If all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Stripe's great. You get a name, got a name by the way? Huh, uh-huh. Zebra, great name, great name. I'm glad we met Zebra. I wanna commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. Oh really, well thank you. You're so sweet. It's a great to, it's great to, so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure, I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. Do you have anything else to say though? I wonder which island I should visit next. I just love to, that each one offers its own adventure and personality. I wish that you could be our villager. That seems like it would be fun. Anyways, you gave us a rover's briefcase. Huh, interesting. So I guess he gave us his brief, briefcase. So yeah, there's not really uh, any other oranges I see. So I guess I might have I might have been able to do this uh, whole thing a little bit more efficiently at some point, which is a shame. I wasn't able to do that, so I missed out on, there's five tickets there, they give you 3,000, so I missed out on about 15,000 bells. It's not the end of the world, but I'm glad that I could've explored and enjoyed that. With a love of Nook's ever-flying kaleidoscope, did you soar through that entire maze, Zebra? I did? Why to soar through? You'll have to let old Nook know. Oh, put the air brake on, seems you have something on your, on these pilot's eyes you have never seen before. Let me get this straight. You got it from someone who just happened to be hovering around this island? Well then, Dodo Airlines will proudly deliver your prize to your home. One dilly of a Mayday tour, huh? 
Squawk the word and we'll wing you back to your home hangar. Oh, if you're stuck, grounded, or lost in a fog bank, yeah, okay. Um, so he said that he'll send that back for me. What about these? Okay, so I, I hope he will. Um, anyways, uh, attention on duck. What's what's next on your flight plan? Time to head home. We'll make sure all of your things get back in, into your pockets once we're on the ground on strike. However, the gift you receive from your new island friend, we'll send that directly to your house. Same goes for any bell vouchers you might f have acquired while here. Find them at your mailbox shortly. And that wraps us up. Ready for takeoff? I am. So that was so cool. We got some stuff out of it too. There's no coming back to this same Mayday tour, not that there's much left in your checklist. Ready to go? Yep. Roger, lifting off November Oscar Wister. Alrighty then, so, we did it. We experienced Mayday. I don't know if we can do Mayday again. If we can get like more than one Mayday ticket, we'll have to check that out at some point. But I had a lot of fun with that for sure. Let me know your Mayday experience. Were you able to meet Rover and get his suitcase? See you guys. Thanks for the fun. But that really wraps up the most of what I wanted to do in today's episode. Uh, maybe we'll talk to Tom Nook and see if he has anything to say, but it's been a very splendid experience being able to see the upgraded museum, um, buying a new painting, all that sort of stuff. I definitely wanna put some money away um, now that we have the chance to. But yeah, it's just been really cool. Had a lot of fun with that. Hey guys, uh, so it doesn't look like he's, he's gonna tell me anything. Um, so I wanna go to the ABD and deposit some money. It says right now I have 116,000, so we're just gonna go ahead and donate 111,000. Just so I have a clean, like, five-ish thousand. So there we go, we're more than one-fifth of the way there when it comes to getting our uh, loan paid off again. We'll keep working towards that and hopefully everything will go well. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.